Welcome to the Sustainable Energy Forum. Thank you, Gab. 20,000 Ugandans die due to indoor air pollution. This is mainly caused by the use of kerosene lamps. Now, you say to us that these deaths are preventable and the solutions are on the Ugandan market. I think in the distribution of these, uh, what we can call affordable LED lights uh, across the country, there are a number of challenges that we've come up uh, across. Though we try, you know, to find solutions to really try and get these um, products to the masses down there. Because uh, normally we find problems when it comes to distribution. There are certain areas which are not really accessible. For instance, uh, there is a village in Kasese where you have to park the car at the trading center. And then going uphill, you need to just trek there. So it, it gets a bit difficult to penetrate uh, such areas. And then uh, most of the people we speak to, you know, there has been a general uh, bad perception about solar. That some people say solar don't, doesn't work because there are products which were previously distributed in the market and then they kind of fail. So it's getting very difficult to put the faith in the people that these products actually work. Yes, but uh, it is solar. It has got to run on the availability of the sun. Now, if the sun is not there, will I stay in darkness? Why not go back to my lantern that can give me light whether there is sun or there is no sun? Actually, what happens um, to the solar is that uh, it does not mean if there is no sunshine, then you're not going to have light. This, uh, I don't think, it's in very rare cases where you'll find, say, three days running and there is no sunshine completely. These uh, polycrystalline panels are designed to be able to receive the energy from the sun, even if the sun is not bright enough. So when you have a full charge today, depending on how many hours, like most people in the rural areas use these systems for about three hours, he is able to use that uh, lantern for up to two days. And remember their settings, where there is a bright setting, and then there is a lower setting, and then there is a least setting. So what happens is, during that time when you notice that there is not enough sunlight to charge the system, you resort to the second setting, which is a bit lower, but gives you more lighting hours, compared to the first one, which is very bright, but gives you lesser lighting hours. So in such days, such periods, when there is not enough sunlight, you are able to use the lower settings, and then you continue having the light. I have a feeling that people can change or shift from paraffin lanterns or tadoba to the energy-saving gadgets or lamps. But, but I heard him say, when you go to Kasese, you have to park your car down and go up. Up there, people are there, and they can use these lamps. Okay. They yes, have he's... lived there. Yes. And I would like to say, kindly sensitize these people to the use of those gadgets. After you've given an old woman in Kasese this gadget with wires, she has never been to school, how do you expect her to use it? Actually, what we do is um, we have, you know, you say, for instance, Uganda as a country is a very wide place, very big coverage. So what happens is we have a team that goes to the areas and then we have people that we train from within the areas. So there is this initial training that is given to the old woman in the village about how to use the gadget. And then what we try to do is to find a person within that village or within that area, because I am based in Kampala, for instance. I just go to the village and come back. A person cannot call me to go back and get him sorted. So what happens is we need to use that person who is on the ground to kind of continue the education. Though information can sometimes get uh, distorted. If I say hello, and then by the time the, the entire audience finishes saying that, and they're saying hara, so it, 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 there's that information distortion which causes the problems. And that's why at times you'll find a customer calls you and is complaining that the product is not working. But when you actually ask how they're using it, then they say, you see for me, I put my panel under the bed, and then the thing does not light. 